Welcome into TechPress. If you want to add more sections directly into your Shopify store, you are in the right place. I'm going to show you how to do this with no coding. There's a two method of how we can do this in a very easy way. First of all, I'm going to sign into my Shopify store. So once we are into our Shopify store, once again, what I need to do is to go back into Shopify. Here into Shopify, let's focus into our online store and focus into the themes. Let's go and focus into the easiest section. So let's go here inside customization. Inside customization, we can see that we have now access directly into our Shopify store. We can see that we have the different elements. Of course, we have the preview of how it actually looks to our store. Into the lab hub, we can see all the sections we have added directly into this page. And into the lab hub, a little bit more, we have the theme settings and the apps and beams. Just focus into sections elements. What you can do is to add much more sections of your store. For example, into this section of the head that we can key into add section. And here, for example, we have an announcement bar and a custom liquid. Custom liquid can be helping you to add coding and adding much more elements. But since we're not going to be doing any kind of coding, we want to focus only into the elements that we can add to our template. So here into our template, we can add much more section. For example, we have a featured product, collection list, reach text, image with text, image banner, slideshow, and so much more. So choose the element that best suits for your store. And once you have hit now into add, you should see this directly here into your actual elements of your store. So what you can do now is to edit the collection list. In this case, I have the collections. And let's say, for example, that I can edit my image ratio, the support rate, I can adapt the image, the heading size, I can change the color scheme, enable the view all button if this one includes more collection than show, we have the mobile layout and the section padding. Hit now into continue or of course make sure that you have just saved all the changes you've done directly into your store. Once you finish doing this process, we can go directly into the preview and make sure everything looks correctly. Now, if you wanted to add much more section, but in a specific section is not available inside this elements, this templates that were created for Shopify, what we can do is to try it out with a third party application. For that, let's go and save, of course, our change, our changes. Let's hit into exit and into the pod, let's go for our applications. Here into apps, what we can do is to look out for an actual application that can be helping us to add much more sections into our store or even add in a specific new custom page inside Shopify. For example, there's page fly, there's home page and so much more elements. So make sure that when you're adding a landing page builder or in a specific element, you actually have a free plan available. So once you choose that application, hit now and to install. Inside this element of the installation, what I wanted to do is just to grant the access between the application and your Shopify online store. Hit into install and your application should be added automatically. Now into the lab hub, we can see that we have the dashboard of this specific side of page flight. So I'm going to accept all these cookies and enable the optimization. We can add a new page or you can just add a new section of your store. Let's focus inside a section and hit into start creating. Now here into this new section, we can add a new element of our store. So as you can see, we have much more elements that we can add rather than only use the elements that were appearing here on Shopify. So as you can see, we have content list, slideshows, we have tabs, accordion, we have basic elements, we have media, I have a YouTube video, I have my socials, I have a QR code, tables, and so much more elements that you would want to add. So let's say for example that I wanted to add a countdown. So I choose this element that says countdown and I go for drag and drop. So as you can see, we have this new countdown and what I can do is to edit these elements. For example, here is my countdown section at a specific time, the start date. Once you have just finished your section site, let's say for example, video section, I go for save. And this is the part where I wanted to add this specific site directly into our store. So I need to first of all enable the auto saving. I hit into enable and I hit now into published. So as you can see, we have the section title. It says video section and go for publish. And the published section should be now added directly into my store. But first of all, we need to make sure that we have just added this directly inside our editor. So as you can see, it tells us that the section is now being available into our theme editor. So we wanted to make sure that we are directly into theme editor, add new section. And here is to see the page fly section, but we can choose our section from that. So that means that I can go here into closed. 
let's go back into the editor of the online store get into customize and here you just wanted to choose the element where you wanted to add your new section of your store so let's go here into the home page i go and scroll down and look out for a new section so here it is added my new section of the page fly so i make sure it actually works correctly i hit now and to save go for three dots and go for view so once you make sure all the stuff all the new section will be added directly into your store then you're actually good to go and that guys is how you can add a specific section directly inside of shopify whether you want a simple plan or using a third party application to come helping you to add more elements and more sections of course of your shopify store of course if you want to customize this stuff should be of course using an actual coding or what you can do is to just use templates directly into the third party application this is just in case you don't know and you don't want to focus absolutely think anything about the actual coding guys so with that being said you can now reach to the very end of the video but don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how you can get started using much more elements in shopify thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully with all this information we can see you next time see you soon